a weapon against fear. We have to remind ourselves how great God is of what he has done in the past to deliver all who trusted in him and claim that majestic power for our present trial. Mm. Fear cannot get a stranglehold on the heart of anyone whose eyes are full of vision of God's greatness and majesty. Nehemiah understood this principle well. He paced back and forth on the walls of Jerusalem, while below him a weary remnant tried to rebuild the city. The Israelites were surrounded by fierce and adversaries, and fear was beginning to set in. The city walls were not finished, and the worker, the worn-out workers were forced to toil with a hammer in one hand and a sword in the other. What was the answer to their fears? Nehemiah brought to their memory how awesome their God is. And I looked and arose and said to the nobles, to the leaders and to the rest of the people, do not be afraid of them. Remember the Lord, great and awesome, and fight. Nehemiah 4 and verse 14. The battle is the Lord's. Dearly beloved, are you afraid? Has your problem shaken your confidence in the Lord? If so, remember how great your God is. Moses said to Israel, If you should say in your heart, These nations are greater than I, how can I dispossess them? You shall not be afraid of them, but you shall remember well that the Lord your God did to Pharaoh and to all Egypt. You shall not be terrified of them, For the Lord your God, the great and awesome God, is among you. That's Deuteronomy 7, 17, 18 and 21. He is praise. He is your God. Who has done for you these great and awesome things which your eyes have seen? Deuteronomy 10, verse 21. God declares to us, I am the Lord. I do not change. Malachi 3 and verse 6. Today he is still seeking to show his greatness to all who appropriate his power.